Mr. President, Director General and distinguished colleagues, today we must embrace the challenges of COVID-19 and the opportunities it presents in terms of health care and social care and stability. We must chart a new course. We must acknowledge the new realities that are upon us as we develop and adopt innovative and relevant technologies to manage our societies and daily activities. The Bahamas wishes to bring to your attention the health challenges we continue to overcome and the dire economic situation that is upon us as a primarily tourism-based economy. At least 50% of our GDP is derived from tourism, which employs directly or indirectly up to 60% of the working population. Last September, we experienced Hurricane Dorian, one of the most powerful hurricanes in the Atlantic in re recorded history, which ravaged our second and third most populous islands and economic centers. Now, COVID-19 has closed our borders and destroyed our tourism-dependent economy. Economic recovery is halted, even as we prepare for the impending hurricane season in our region, which begins on June 1st and extends to November 30th. The twin unprecedented events of Hurricane Dorian and the COVID-19 pandemic threatened to destabilize our health response and our public health gains. The Bahamas is a far-flung archipelago with many rural areas requiring us to replicate basic health care and social services in a geographic area which extends from South Florida in the United States to the tip of northern Cuba. These two seismic events threaten to widen inequalities and increase the burden of non-communicable disease. We benefited greatly from the application of WHO tools, particularly when testing capacity was limited. We support the draft resolution that addresses timely access to quality, safe, affordable, and efficacious diagnostic, therapeutic medicines and vaccines. We thank our partners who donated personal protective equipment and medical devices, training materials, and technical support. I wish to reiterate what I noted at the UN General Assembly last year, soon after Hurricane Dorian devastated two of our major islands. For many years, the Bahamas and countries with similar characteristics have urged an alternative to per capita gross national income as the sole indicator of a country's level of development and eligibility for concessionary financing. I also noted in my 2018 address to the General Assembly, we remain concerned and disappointed that the use of the distorted matrix of GDP per capita as a measurement of national wealth and viability causes the Bahamas to be assessed more favorably than it should be for contributions to international organizations and for the receipt of grants and international assistance when disaster strikes. In this vein, as we request assistance to address COVID-19 in the Bahamas and in other small island states, 
we urge the international community to adopt and to appreciate a broader understanding of the developmental levels and the unique local circumstances in our states. Thank you and good afternoon.